my cuties it's monday and i'm a little bit unwell if i'm honest i just feel sick like it's not even that bad but it's just like this annoying cold and so starting my week off with a cold is just a little rough okay but day's been going well it's 1 50. i still haven't eaten lunch so i'm gonna do that now i have been drinking a celsius which has been helping me i'm not gonna lie and i'm gonna have some lunch right now i have a bunch of work that i have to do and then one more call i've had like two or three calls oh no i have two more calls today it's this whole week is so many meetings like so many meetings but anyways it's been a good day i'm also going to the dentist tonight which booking a dentist appointment on a monday is just like do I hate myself? Like, I personally do not love going to the dentist. Every time I go to the dentist, I have to remind myself that it is such a privilege that I get to go to the dentist, but I do not like going. So I don't want to go. It's at 7.20, which is late. Anyways, it'll be fine. I'm just like having a Monday-ish Monday. You know the vibes. For lunch, I meal prepped. Sorry, for breakfast, I meal prepped some like egg bites, which were really good. I put sausage in that, sausage and jalapeno and onion and cheese and cottage cheese for extra protein. For my lunch, I have some mixed greens, some shredded chicken and some boiled potatoes. Random, I know, but I made, it's kind of like a salad. I just didn't have that many greens. So I don't really want to call it a salad, but I made some salad dressing and I'm going to like mix it all up like a potato salad. A chicken potato salad. Okay, so I just finished my work day and I'm actually getting a new laptop. Um, replacing my laptop and then I'm giving my laptop to someone on the team. So I'm just wiping it. Like I literally wiped it. I wiped all of the data on it and then I'm just giving it a clean... I'm gonna get some screen cleaner and clean the screen off. But how satisfying that it'll be a new laptop for someone on the team. And I'm very excited to get my new laptop tomorrow. It's sitting at the office waiting for me at my desk. So I'm very excited. There's no better feeling really than a new Apple product, like a phone or a laptop. It's just very satisfying to set that up. So I'm very excited. I just got out of the dentist and it went well. She said that my teeth look really good so my brushing and flossing has been paying off. I've been doing so much better with my brushing ever since getting that new Oral-B toothbrush that has like the app. And I'm just happy that everything looked good. And they did x-rays and when I went to go pay, she was like, oh, your insurance covered almost everything. My total was $433 but I only paid $108. So I'm very grateful for that. And I really have to lean into this gratitude because I always dread going to the dentist, but your teeth are so important. Your mouth health is so important. And again, it's such a privilege that I have benefits that I'm able to go and get this done at a minimal cost to me. And I just, yeah, I'm just pleased. I'm just happy. Good morning. Um, I'm filming with my phone right now because I'm having some SD card issues, which I ordered two large SD cards to come from Amazon. So they should be here. I don't know, maybe like tomorrow, but, um, it's a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny, which is great to see. I'm feeling a little better this morning, but I still have a bit of a cold and Max said he woke up this morning with a sore throat, which I feel really bad about, but it is 9:30. I'm heading into the office. I have a meeting at 10 and I'm really excited because my new computer is waiting for me at the office. So we're going to set up a new little computer this morning. I don't have that much time to like set it up. So I'm really just going to log on and I'll probably play around with it tonight and really set it up, but I'm looking forward to it. I have some good news. First good news is I got some new SD cards and so I have tons of storage. So we're back in business filming on my camera. 
Second piece of good news is I was really struggling with how quickly I went into a 10K training plan. I like decided very last minute that I was gonna do a 10K race at the end of May and started this eight week training plan and I did two runs in it so far and then my third run was gonna be tonight. And I was feeling like the distances were just climbing way too fast and it just wasn't, it was just feeling way too rushed. And when I trained for my 10K last year, I think I did a 12 week plan. So it makes sense that the eight week plan would feel very rushed. So I told Mac about that and he was like, well, why don't you look at a different race? I'm like, valid. And he was like, what about the Stampede Road Race, which is in July during Stampede. And then we looked and the race literally starts like in our community. And Mac was like, oh, I'll do it with you. So now I have changed my plans. I signed up for the Stampede Road Race in July and so that's 13 weeks away so I'm starting a new training plan it's a 13 week plan it's like 12 like the I don't know I think it's like a 12 week plan plus a little bit so I'm actually starting that tonight um, I'm gonna go to the gym because it is like raining slash snowing but anyways I'm all excited because now Mac and I are gonna do it together and I just feel so much more at ease that I can just like get back into running like slow gradual progression because I just like went, I think I was so keen to get back into running because it made me feel so good last year, but I didn't like give myself any like ramp up. I just went full on and I, I'm glad that I'm changing it up. So it's like past seven. I'm like really late getting home from work and going to the gym, but Mac is going to go run outside. I'm going to go run at the gym. And then when we come home, we're going to make hamburger salad together. So I'm very happy, okay? I'm very happy. I didn't even realize that this morning I felt a lot better, like less sick. So we love that for me and it's 9 23 i just made us our sleepy girl mocktails mac and i have both been enjoying these and i think i'm going to take a couple minutes to meditate and journal i've been trying to like implement these like healthy habits just like just like a little bit you know like just meditating for five minutes there's this guided meditation that i like on headspace and it's five minutes long so like that's doable you know and then journaling for again like five minutes five ten minutes it doesn't have to be a lot but i really whenever i look at my journal and i like look that like it's like weeks or months in between my entries i don't love that i like to check in with myself a little bit more often so i'm trying to get in a better habit there's been times where i've journaled my whole life honestly since i was a kid I've taken years off, I've taken months off, but I feel like if you're a journaler, like you, it comes in waves, you know? And you have like periods where you're really like doing a lot of journaling and then periods where you're not, and I think that's fine. But um, I enjoy writing down my thoughts. I enjoy looking back on my journals too. Like some of the problems or things that I was like dealing with, it's so funny, my mind goes to problems, but <laughs> some of the things I was experiencing in my life, when you read it back in a journal, you're like, whoa it's just weird the book that i'm reading right now i don't know if i've shared it it's called priest daddy and this is our april book pick for the podcast this is how far i've gotten into it when i first started it i did not like it but i'm getting a little bit more into it and it's it's pretty funny and i'm liking it a bit more but i just came off of reading a couple of those ellen hildebrand books which are like very easy reads easy reads haha but this is different so it's kind of jarring but it's been good anyways i'm going to enjoy my sleepy girl mocktail meditate for five minutes journal for five minutes read one chapter and then go to sleep probably have a shower then go to sleep so that's gonna be my little night routine and that's like my idea of like a perfect night or like not a perfect night but like that's you know the all together that's like 30 minutes that like i can pretty much implement that like anytime so like let's do it mel 
let's do it. Good morning, cuties. I am rushing out the door because I have an in-person meeting in 22 minutes. It's pretty close by, so I should be fine, but um, I just need to pack up. So I need to pack up my laptop, my AirPods, grab my food. It looks like a nice day out, which is amazing because I really need those spring vibes this week, if I'm honest. It's just a lot of meetings, a lot of work, but at least the weather is cooperating for now, you know? Okay, food, food, garbage to take out on my way, laptop, charger, AirPods. I have this little laptop case, but I'm thinking of getting like a hard shell case because I took really good care of my last laptop that I just passed off. I had it for four years and I honestly kept it in like perfect condition, but I really wanna make sure that I keep this one in perfect condition. So I think I'm gonna pick up like a hard case, but then also use this soft Herschel case just for extra protection. But so far this new laptop is amazing. I also have like double the amount of storage as I had on my old one. And I used to I used to run into storage issues all the time. So I think it's 500 gigs, this one. So it's, we love her. Okay, I am just at the mall, just coming back from work. I'm gonna pop in because I want to get that case for my new Mac. And obviously I'll do some window shopping too. I can't guarantee it's just going to be window shopping, but I don't know. I just like coming to the mall. I'm a bit of a mall rat, so let's go see what we can find. Okay, so I'm home now. I only bought the case, so I didn't buy anything else at the mall. And it's like 7.15 and there's just a couple of things I need to finish up. So I'm going to work a little bit more in the office. I'm going to put my globe lamp on for the vibes. And I think I'm gonna put myself a timer for 30 minutes and see how much I can get done in 30 minutes. And then I'm stopping to work. Or I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm stopping working because I also need to rest. But this is the case that I got. It's an otter box. So I'm gonna put that on. I got it from the Apple store. It's just clear. So hopefully it looks okay. I'm really quite happy with it. It definitely adds some bulk to it, but it's like really sturdy. And it looks nice, like just around here. And um, yeah, I'm happy with it. It was a bit expensive, it was $130, but if it protects the baby, then it's worth it. Happy Thursday. So it is 9.24. I have to leave here at 9.30ish because I have an in-person meeting at 10. And what can I tell you? I'm running a little bit on empty right now. Uh, <laughs> I severely need to wash my hair. Today I'm going on tea for lunch so I just put this headband on because it covers some of the grease but it really needs to be washed. We're filming or we're recording a podcast episode tomorrow morning. We're actually doing a solo episode and I'm really excited about it, but I definitely need to wash my hair tonight. It has to happen. I think it'll work out nicely. I think I have a run tonight. I actually think I had a run plan for last night and I just like completely forgot about it. I feel like I'm not in the rhythm of training yet. So I just completely forgot about it. So I'm probably gonna do the run that I was supposed to do yesterday tonight and then I'll wash my hair after. So that should work out nicely. Um, my food for the week, this has actually worked out really well. It's like the greens, potatoes that I just boiled and then shredded chicken and some balsamic vinaigrette and it's been delicious. It's like a really hearty salad. And then I'm also gonna bring this Barbell's chocolate dough protein bar. These are the best protein bars ever. And I think right now you can only buy them in the States. My sister Chantel um, has worked at Shell for like 10 years and she recently went into a new role where she's like, she's like a manager of 
snacks, <laughs> retail, convenience. I don't know. She's been sampling all of these different food items and she said that someone reached out to her from barbells and i was like those are the best and she hadn't heard of them before so i was like you must take the meeting and they sent her a bunch of samples and then she gave some to me so they're so so good they have lots of other flavors let me show you the other flavors actually they're all really good honestly creamy crisp Kind of coconutty, I don't know. Caramel cashew, I really like this one. And cookies and cream, delicious. All right, let's get out of here. What a day, what a week. It's like 6.15 maybe, I'm the last person in the office. So I'm gonna shut the place down, turn off this music. It was a good day, but it was just very busy. And yeah, just going home. Mac is sick, unfortunately. I think I gave him my cold. So I feel really bad. So I think he's like in bed right now, but let's just pack up, shall we? I'm loving this case. It just like feels so nice to have it protected. It definitely makes it like bulkier and a bit heavier, but I just feel like this was the move. Sometimes when I'm here late, I take some snacks to go because I feel like I deserve it, you know? Let's go see what's in the snack cupboard. We had some donuts earlier. They're very good. I might take like some chips or something. This is our snack cupboard. Iconic. I like these veggie straws. I might take something like that. Anyways, let's go home. Oh my God, no. These are my favorite chips ever and there's just like a little bit left. Definitely taking those on the drive home. Not veggie straws. <laughs> okay, so I'm home now. It is 7.15. I just ate some leftover chili. I'm also watching The Valley, which is so good, so dramatic. Uh, and I'm also gonna work a little bit because that's just the vibe. That is just the, blah, blah, blah. That is just the vibe. And tomorrow's an exciting day. Mitzi and I are recording an episode, a solo episode of our podcast tomorrow morning. And we're gonna answer some questions. And then we have a strategy presentation, a bunch of meetings, a bunch of work to do, you know the vibes. But then we'll be onto the weekend. So I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow for the weekend. And I'm going to wrap this one up here. I hope that you enjoyed it. Some exciting things happened this week. I figured out my running plan, my new running plan and i got a new laptop which i'm so excited and grateful for so i hope that you enjoyed it and i'll catch you in my next one bye